When I did the Transamerica in 2016, I was leaving a town where a touring cyclist told me I was going too fast. He said, you'll never know where you are going if you don't look back to see where you've been. You gotta take that to heart. I listened to him because he was right. Trans Virginia was a true test for me. I had never done a multi-day gravel event that would span so many miles or elevation. I was actually pretty terrified because I just came off of a back injury and um, so I was wondering if my herniated disc would act up or something else would stop me. And as you can see, I, I still powered on 160 miles after breaking my hand. It was a great ride. To leave the Lincoln Memorial and finish on the Creeper Trail in Damascus was extremely special. I felt like David was in my mind asking me if I liked the section or the food in some deli because they talked about it so much. On the first night, we met some guys camping near Wolf Gap. I don't remember their names and I'm sorry. They rode with David and they helped, I guess, with the, with the route. They talked about the route like they were invested in it. Um, the first day cemented that community spirit and the work and pride they took in this route. It was the same feeling I had for Dirty Kansas, Trans-Iowa, and of course my hometown favorite, Hawk, Town, or Hawk Point, which is in Missouri. I could see the passion and responsibility they took opening up to a large community, trusting newcomers would love it. These are true gifts, uh, things you can always remember and you see you see when they come, people come back and they're just excited about the event. So what were my takeaways from this adventure? Number one, even when you're injured or things are going, you've got chaos in your life, never stop saying yes to adventures no matter how big or how small. That's a big one for me. I think I'll always cherish that. And never think you are too old or too dumb to do something amazing, whether it be following a line on a map and trying to figure things out or doing math on the fly after like three days of no sleep. You know, wake up in the morning and appreciate where you are and what is around you. And then slow down and take a damn picture. It's more important than anything else, I think, in my opinion. I love remembering things I do because 20 years from now, a time's not gonna be significant but I'll remember the picture more than anything else. And lastly, look back and appreciate what you've accomplished. So thanks, David, and hope to see you on the trails. You know, this is the point, you know, like, like 25, 28 miles out, my eyes look terrible. I'm be pushing 160 miles today. We got a thousand feet of elevation. It's the last big hill. Straight up. All the glory. Oh man. Just done. It's raining out and wet. Go from cold to hot. Awesome course. Hey, I'm at 4,100 4, feet. Dave, if you're listening to this, Dave Landris, that was one heck of a course. I'm about to drop this thing. I really appreciate four days of just pure serenity out in the Appalachians. Just spectacular. Thanks a lot. Welcome to Damascus!